Hey friends, welcome to Meal Prep Monday, where I clean out my fridge, get everything out, and just make some food. I am doing this because I struggle with disordered eating. It's really hard for me to make food for myself, and I actually do a lot better when I'm making food for someone else, whether it's my family or my friends. And right now during the quarantine, that's not possible. I can't have anyone over, and I live alone. So I had to figure out a way to make sure that I'm eating well, to make sure that I'm getting everything out of my fridge, everything that I buy, and making some really yummy food out of it. So. I'm gonna go over some ground basics right now. So the first thing is that all of these meals today are going to be vegetarian, but you can add protein to them or, you know, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. I'll explain to you more. That is not to say that I personally am fully vegetarian. I do choose a mostly meatless diet at home, but if I'm out, I will still eat meat sometimes. Everyone has their own path. This is where I'm at with mine. The second part of today is that I'm gonna be cleaning out my fridge. I just recently bought a ton of fresh produce that was delivered to my door. It was amazing. Turns out, I don't know what a kilogram is. I literally bought a kilogram of cilantro and that's just one of the many items that I bought. So I had a lot of food, I gave some to my family, but my fridge is stocked full right now. There's no space in it at all for anything else. And like I had mentioned, I struggle with disordered eating. So that for me means that I buy food, I buy produce with the best intentions. I'm going to make this meal, I'm going to use this lettuce to make this, and this veggie to make this but I struggle a lot and I oftentimes don't get to make the things that I want to make with them and because it's produce it goes bad so today we're gonna take an honest look at my fridge today is Sunday and I purchased my veggies on Wednesday so they're all edible they're not rotten but they don't look the prettiest they don't look the freshest and that's just it is what it is they're still edible I'm still gonna cook with them this is an honest fridge clean out and an ugly veggies meal prep have brunch today a zoom brunch with my girlfriends from home so I'm gonna be making a brunch meal and then after that we're gonna actually do our meal prep so let's get breakfast going and then let's see what we come up with with everything in our fridge so this is my fridge I just did this little picture decal the other day I had printed these out for a different purpose but this is Santa Marta Colombia so there's a theme I love managing so in Inside my fridge, we have this. Now, normally, I love to organize my fridge, and it never, ever, ever, ever looks this crazy. But with that delivery, flashback to that delivery, I got a lot. So this is what I'm working with today. There is stuff even deeper back there, which I'm not gonna be able to go all the way into right now. But yeah, I've got some cabbage that is yeah. So this is like cleaned cilantro and parsley. This is kale and romaine and green beans. And I have a half a zucchini and half a squash back there. And that blue bowl is strawberries. This is cauliflower that has been oxidized. I don't think any of this is rotten. I think it's just oxidation. I just looked it up. These brown spots are oxidation from either being bruised or staying out in the air. And I will say that when I got this, it did stay out kind of all day, so. I also have trypophobia, which is like fear of clusters of dots, and this is kind of triggering my trypophobia, but because we're here together, I feel safe. We're gonna try to figure this out. This is an, oh, oh! Okay, the cabbage just fell on the floor. We're gonna have to, okay. Um, maybe we won't, they won't use the cabbage, but we're just gonna it. Okay. Sorry. I have a watermelon back there, celery, and a whole, bunch of oranges and ginger and carrots. So I have a few things on the list that I want to make today. But first, first up today are these cornmeal pancakes by Bon Appetit. I'm going to put the recipe up here in the video, but also link it down below. It is absolutely delicious and phenomenal. I just modified using a few things I had in my fridge and kitchen. Then I grabbed my oldest strawberries, de-stemmed them, cut them in half. They're not rotten, still edible, just not the freshest looking, which is fine. Pop them into a small saucepan. Then I grabbed a lime, or you could use a lemon, squeeze the juice over top of the strawberries, sprinkle with a little bit of sugar to your liking, and stir intermittently on low for about 10 minutes. Make sure you keep an eye on it, you don't want it to burn. And while it's cooking, low and slow, make your pancakes. Now, the secret to a perfect pancake is a really hot pan. Heat the pan first, 
Then take it off the burner, spray it with your spray, or add your fat, however you want to not stick it, and then make your pancake. I promise it'll come out golden and fluffy every time. I like some powdered sugar on mine, topped it with my homemade strawberry jam. Don't mind this plating, okay? I really tried a little bit of mint. And then the best part, New England, Vermont, specifically, bourbon barrel aged, wait, whiskey barrel aged, I don't even know, is delicious. Look at this, I just, mm, mm. Mm -mm -mm. This was so perfect, and I was having brunch with my girls over Zoom. I almost said Skype, but that is a thing of the past. Look at that. Oh, mm -mm -mm. I'm just gonna let the montage take over from here. Next up is this crunchy veggie noodle, I guess Thai noodle salad. I've never made it before. Um, this was my first go at it and we'll talk about how I think I could improve next time, but uh, it was a great way to get all the veggies out. So I cut a carrot into matchsticks and I cut it into thirds, but maybe I would cut them into halves next time. And I grabbed my cabbage, cut away the wilted parts, destemmed it, shredded it up with my knife, thinly sliced half of a bell pepper that I had in my fridge, julienne if you will i think right i don't know i didn't go to cooking school but i think that's a julienne <laughs> then i grabbed my tomatoes again just grabbing the squishiest ones and dicing them up i know that my knife skills are looking really scary with the thingies but i promise i was being careful i also grabbed my ugliest scallions and a giant handful of cilantro chopped it all up added it to the salad next is this sauce which honestly i would triple this was not enough but i added ginger a little too much ginger in my opinion garlic light soy sauce hot sesame oil a little rice wine vinegar and with a clean spoon some peanut butter again i would oh and some honey i would triple this recipe and you'll see why next we cooked the rice noodles i don't know why i just said we it's literally just me and added them to the veggies make sure you don't cook the rice noodles too much you want them to still be al dente and i needed to transfer bowls because there is so much material in this salad it is the perfect fridge clean out but back to the sauce as you can see i used it all and my noodles my nudes are still translucent. I don't know, it had good flavor, it was a great fridge clean out, but I definitely would put more sauce and fine tune the recipe for it. And last but not least, the ultimate failed recipe. Again, another recipe that I've never made before, I've never even attempted. I tried to make cauliflower wings in the air fryer, but I did not batter this. Gordon Ramsay, if you are here, please look away. I can't even describe this. I just poured a lackluster egg mixture on top and corn flour. I just, I don't know how I thought that, yep, mm -hmm. yes, you are seeing this right. And then I failed at making a general so sauce. I've never made the sauce before. I tried to make it using honey, soy sauce, apple cider vinegar, and some cornstarch. Added it to my overfilled air fryer basket and got some soggy wings. Honestly, these don't look terrible, but in reality, it's just a pile of mushy cauliflower with cornmeal. Mm. For the veggie noodle salad, if you want to add some protein to it, some veggie protein could be edamame, tofu, chickpeas, or you could add chicken, pork, beef, and look at these cauliflower bites. Oh, note to self, Ashley, never try to make a new recipe in a rush, girl. Okay, so this is the verdict. I did not cook these right. They did not come out crispy. The sauce is all wrong, but it's edible. It's cauliflower, it's cooked. It has a sauce on it. Oh God, look how mushy that looks. Yeah, I didn't do this right. But either way, I took some cauliflower, cooked it up, and then in here, I have my noodle veggies, and they're actually really good. I wish I would've made just a little bit more sauce, but not bad, and not bad. Sometimes when you clean out your fridge, you just gotta put together what you have, see what works, and honestly, I could've followed a more formal recipe to make this what I wanted it to be, which was crispy cauliflower bites. I kinda came up with my own process and trialed my own recipe and strategy and it didn't work. Sometimes that happens and it's just an excuse to try to make it again. It doesn't look like the worst ever. It doesn't taste the worst either, but it doesn't taste like general salad. So that part is a fail, but other than that, cooked cauliflower, crunchy veggie salad. Today was a good fridge clean out day. Let's see what we get into next week.
soon. Say bye. Say bye, friends. <laughs>